Hello and welcome to another edition of Capper Comparison Picks. This is going to be a quick show because I have things, a lot of things to do today and I want to get these out before the games start at 2 o'clock. These are free picks for the week 4 of the XFL. If you're new to this show, it's where I take uh, kit, uh, free picks off the internet from my favorite sports authors, writers, and handicappers. I display them for you so you can come up with your own decision on where to make your picks and place your wagers. Last week we went um, two and two. I uh, had the Roughnecks beating the Vipers 30, and they won 34 to 27. I lost. I had Seattle Dragons. They were plus four. They lost to the Dallas Renegades 24 to 12. Um, then Sunday's game, to the St. Louis dominated the Guardians. I took St. Louis. They won 29-9. Finally, uh, the D.C. Defenders got embarrassed by the Wildcats 39-9. I was siding with the Defenders. So 2-2, two and two, my, the first week I've done it, week 3. Let's go on to week 4 and get this board dirty. Uh, taking the Wildcats... Bookie Blasters, Brian Bittler. Uh, Wildcats are one and two. Guardians are one and two. Um, also have six pack. North, north, uh, baby. Six pack bass. Har, uh, Harley. He's scoring the game twenty four to twelve. That is under. 39. Um, we have XFL North. Please stop. News. Hub. Mark Perry. He's scoring the game 24 to 9. That's also under. Um, the Goat House. What's the Goat House? The Goat House is a capper site and they claim to be. Eight and eight on their XFL picks against the spread. The Goat House claiming to be perfect in the past, uh, whatever, two two weeks or something. Um, they are taking the Wildcats to cover eight. Finally, a new guy that I like. He's from Texas, and his black and white sports. It's called black and white sports, and his name is Rhodes Rants. Rhodes Rants is taken the Wildcats. This would be a full capper consensus because nobody is choosing the Guardians. Um, I personally was a fan of the Guardians and maybe if they put in uh, Luis Perez instead of McGloin or Marquise Williams, then I would go with them. But I'm going to go with the consensus pick and take the Wildcats to come. The thing, here's another thing you have to take note. Last week, the DC went all the way across the country to Los Angeles. This time, the Wildcats are coming all the way across country to come to New York. But you know what? New York's been playing like garbage. Their defense is okay, but on offense, they can't. Please, I'm trying to do a video. Can you please quiet just for, for 10 minutes? That's all I'm saying. Please, thank you. Sorry about that. So I'm taking the Wildcats, even even despite the jet lag or whatever, they'll, they'll get over it. They're athletes. They're used to traveling. So next game, five o'clock, we have the Seattle Dragons. They're getting a whopping 11 and a half points. <laughs> Or St. Louis Battlehawks. Um, Taking the Dragons are <coughs> Bookie Blasters Brian Butler. <laughs> uh, six Pack Bass is saying score is going to be 30 to 20 uh, in favor of the Battlehawks. But that doesn't cover the 11 and a half points. So that's why he's over here. Um, 
He's gonna. He's saying the game is gonna go thirty to twenty. That's over. A six pack is saying that a six pack bass. XFL News Hub scoring the game twelve twenty three in favor of the Battle Hawks. Um. So that is also un, That's under. That's that's that, who's that? That was uh Mark Perry. Mark Perry from News, uh, XFL News Hub saying under and finally taking the Seattle Dragons. Well, they're not taking them to win. They're just taking them to stay within 11 and a half is black and white roads rants. And he scoring the game 28 to 20. That would put it over. And this was almost a capper consensus, but the goat house, who said who claimed to be perfect in the past couple weeks, is taking St. Louis against the spread, meaning they're going to cover the eleven and a half win by. The guy said he he thinks they're going to win by two touchdowns, and you know what, the Battle Hawks, I think they're very capable of doing that. At, in the Battle Dome last week, they had a turnout of 28,000 people. Um, man, Tiamu, he's, he's great. I, it's 11 and a half, but you know what? I still, I, I'm gonna go with Battle, I'm going against the Capper majority, go with St. Louis to cover 11 and a half. Nora. Stop walking through here. You know I'm in the middle of a show. Hey, okay. Moving on. Four o'clock game on Sunday. Well, here's your Saturday games. Maybe I should wait. No, I'm gonna wipe them all out now before I go to this party. I have to take Brandon to a birthday party. Moving on. Roughnecks. Taking the Roughnecks. We have the Goat House. And black and white roads. He's saying the score is going to be 30 to 27, which is over. Taking Dallas, who is my new favorite team, I think. Bookie Blasters, Brian Bittler. Um, six pack bass. Harley scoring at 30 to 28. That is over. And XFL News. Mark Perry is scoring at 32 to 28. This is also, I'll have you know, this is the game of the weekend right here. Everybody's saying it. Okay, this is the big, because this is going to, this is like a must win for Dallas if they want, you know, anything. They want to go to the playoffs or whatever. I mean, um, so black and white, XFL News, Perry, and Harley all saying over. Um, I think uh, Dallas is going to, they're getting points, but I think Dallas is going to win outright. I'm going to take Dallas on the money line. To beat, to give Roughnecks the first loss. Dallas is at home. And I'm taking the over on this game. Taking the over to the under here. And taking the, boy, who, who said that? Um, oh, okay, black and white. Over here. Finally, last game of the weekend. Seven o'clock on Sunday with DC Defenders. Laying two and a half points against Tampa Bay Vipers. You have XF. L News, Mark Perry is saying the game is going 28 to 24 in favor of DC. Goat House is taking DC and Black and White Sports Roads. Brant is saying 20 to 14. The total is 43 and a half. Bookie Blasters. Uh, Brian Bittler. 
Oh, by the way, Brian Villar, I used him last week. He was he went 0 and 4 last week. To keep that in mind, Mr. Hot Shot Brian Bittler, top of the leaderboards over at Bookie Blasters. I guess not for XFL, huh, Brian? Um, and six pack bass is scoring the game 24 to 17. That's uh, XFL News that says over. Um, six pack bass that's under. And also black and white says under. So there you have it. Uh, for this game, I like the Vipers at home only because, the, you know, defenders are coming off that embarrassing loss. The Vipers are starting to play well. They, you know, oh, no, Quentin Flowers just up and left the team because of not, not enough playing time. So he's gone. Um, Cardell Jones, he did, last week he had four picks, zero, zero touchdowns. And I don't, that's going to be a tough hole to climb out of. That's why I'm going against the majority and going with Tampa Bay and the under. So to recap, so I can get going to this party really quickly, I just want to get these games in before, you know, so you can have time to make your bets. I have the Wildcats. Capper consensus, the Wildcats to beat the Guardians. Even, I like Lou. If they put Perez in, though, they have a shot. But Wildcats and the under 39. Um, the Battle Hawks in the Battle Dome, 28,000 people. I got them at home. They have a great home crowd. Biggest one, I think, to take out. Even though the majority, everybody's saying Seattle with the points. I think Battlehawks is going to beat Seattle and cover, and I think it's going to go over 38. Okay, finally, my new favorite team, Dallas Renegades. I got them giving the uh, Houston Roughnecks their first loss, and as well as everybody else, I have them going over on that game. And finally, tomorrow at 7, I have the Vipers. They're going to, unfortunately... Thank mm -hmm. you.